Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at kaibigan and welcome to my channel. This is Jamie Iris at nais ko po kayong i-welcome sa ating episode for 2022 sa Sagot sa iyong katanungan mga kabayan. Akin pong sasagutin ang mga katanungan ninyo na iniwan nyo sa aking comment box. Again, kung sakasakali po na hindi masagot sa video ito ang inyong katanungan, pakitingnan na lamang po ang inyong comment box po and at the same time panoorin nyo rin po yung aking mga video. So, marahil po ang ilan sa inyong mga katanungan ay meron pong kasagutan mula po sa aking mga ginagawang video vlogs or mga tutorial. Simula na po natin sagutin ang inyong mga katanungan. kay Dea Deo Passion sabi niya hi ma'am happy new year po OFW po ako from Japan tanong ko lang po kung makakauwi po ba sa Pilipinas kahit wala pang vaccine yes Deo kahit wala ka pang vaccine makakauwi ka ng Philippines ang magiging kumbaga difference lang naman ay uh, kumbaga mas mahaba ang quarantine mo kesa doon sa mga nakapag quarantine na so kung hindi ka pa bakunado at the same time, ikaw ay from the yellow list countries, ang quarantine day, days mo ay around 8 to 9 days. So, depende kung kailan lalabas yung resulta mo. Ang iyong uh, vaccination ay, kumbaga, magiging uh, on the seventh day. So, yan. Yan lang naman yung difference between mga, kumbaga, vaccinated at hindi vaccinated. And Happy New Year too! Maraming salamat sa greeting. Namula naman kay Annie sa Avedra. Sabi niya, good afternoon ma'am, tanong ko lang po sana yung flight ko po, Malaysia to Manila, January 28, 2022. Ilang araw na quarantine po. Plan ko sana pagkatapos ng quarantine, hindi pa ako uwi sa province namin. Ano yung requirements kung uuwi ako ng province namin? Thank you. Ani, ganito. Una, anong airlines mo? So far, para at least makita natin kung may cancellation ba or anong up. Date. At again, as the time nears your flight, uh, just keep in touch because, you know, I may give you the update right now or kapag nabigay mo detalye sa akin but, you know, suddenly it might change. Now, ano pa uh, sabi mo? So, ibig sabihin hindi mo, uh, hindi ka uuwi agad sa probinsya mo. So, after ng hotel quarantine mo, ang tanong ko ay, saan ka magstay stay Kasi sa BOQ, tinatanong nila, after ka mag-check out ng hotel quarantine, you have to give them an address where you will be staying and where you will need to complete your quarantine. So, kung ito ay hindi pa bahay ninyo sa probinsya, then you have to give them the complete details at doon ka dapat tumigil hanggang makompleto mo ang 14 days. Dahil hindi ka pwede magbiyahe sa probinsya kapag hindi mo kumpleto ang iyong home at quarantine. And Happy New Year too, Annie. And then from uh, Jenkin Profugo, so beautiful lady inside and out, Lodi. Naku, maraming salamat naman, uh, Jenkin. I really appreciate the encouragement and kind words. And God bless you. Happy New Year. Happy ni Margarita Lacson. Hi, very strict kayo sa mga luggage bucket pero di nyo naman binibigyan ng close watch for the safety of our luggage. We fly from Vancouver last December 30, 2021 and our flight is 9.30 p.m. We brought three luggage and one of my luggage was forcibly unlocked so they can uh, get some things and clothes in it. And they did not close it because the lock has been broken. We are... Ayan, PAL, we are in PAL, PR117, fly that we arrive in the Philippines January 1, 2022 at 4.15 a.m. Hi, Margarita. Uh, I'm so uh, sad talaga to hear what happened to you. Have you reported that incident to PAL? So, uh, what I can suggest is for you to report it. Sana nakunan mo ng video or kaya immediately dapat sa ganyan ay pinapagbigay alam agad sa luggage so that at least they can investigate about it and they 
they can know and you have to tell them then kung ano yung mga nawala immediately uh, kumbaga pagdating mo sa Pilipinas so that they can address it and if they need uh, to do uh, kung ano po yung action para po sa inconvenience at kumbaga yung pagkawala na nangyari sa inyo they could do that so my suggestion if you have documented that or nakunan mo ng picture ng video uh, please coordinate with them since it's just like two days ago today is January 3 so looking forward ma-address pa yan and again uh, that is not a very good experience tama ka naman napaka stricto sa luggage dapat din na si safeguard ang bawat bagahe natin ako ay experience that but from another airlines naman so uh, hindi talaga siya maganda dahil alam mo yung pinaghirapan mo yung nasa loob ng bagahe and to see it kumbaga talagang na destroy yung lock so uh, nakaka nakakadismaya talaga at nakakagalit din hindi pa now I'll check mo din may nawala bang uh, kasi ganito yung sa akin naman iba ang nangyari sa ibang airlines naman yon uh, there are times na sinisira nila yung lock kasi they need to lalo na sa Middle East naman yun naman ay napaka higpit kasi so if they see for example sa items na parang similar sa mga pinagbabawal nila pero hindi naman so they usually check it uh, dun sa bag kaya madalas meron whenever I fly before from like one country in the Middle East to another uh, ganun na nakikita ko nasisira yung lock ko pero uh, in my situation naman nakakadismaya, nakakanerbios kasi nasira yung lock ko pero pag tinignan ko naman yung items ko wala namang nawala so ang naisip ko lang na conclusion dun it could possibly be that they are just simply looking and meron kasi siguro akong item na it resembles something na bawal sa kanila pero pag na naman nila hindi naman yun yung pinagbabawal kamukha lang siguro nung uh, container but anyway Margarita please take a look uh, so that at least uh, you know uh, kumbaga yung action na dapat gawin for you as a passenger ay magawa ng Philippine Airlines yan so still I want to wish you a happy new year, bagamat uh, disappointing yung nangyayari. I'm wishing you a great 2022 and soon makasama mo na ang pamilya mo once you're out of the quarantine hotel. Mula kay Alan Dionisio, sabi niya, ma'am, good morning po. Ask ko lang po kung uulit po ba ako mag-fill up na one half pass at sa PCR ko, uulitin din po ba ang flight ko po January 3 tapos Jan 4 po Doha to Cebu pero na-cancel. So, kailangan po bang ulitin ang one half pass, fill up at yung PCR din po po ma'am from UAE. God bless you po and the whole family. Maraming salamat. Happy New Year to Alan and thank you for the declaration of blessing I receive it. Uh, yes, Alan. So, one half pass or once na cancel automatically, uh, you have to repeat it because maiiba na ang arrival date mo. Very particular si one half pass at this point in time. And sad to say, kung hindi na papasok within 72 hours, yung date ng iyong swap test sa iyong paglipad, then yes, you have to complete it. Pero kung pasok pa naman yan sa within 72 hours before your flight, ang iyong negative swap test result, pwede pa yon So you can take a look at that and see kung pasok pa sa within 72 hours, then you don't have to repeat it. Okay? But you have no choice and you have to take it again uh, kapag hindi na siya within 72 hours. So Alan, Happy New Year and God bless you and your family too. Mula naman kay Marcos Julius, good. Ayuda again is coming. Ha 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 ha. Well, looking forward nga. Uh, sana nga merong ganong ayuda na maibigay uh, sa atin at mga naapektuhan. Sandy de los Reyes, tanong lang po ma'am, any update po? Regular flight ba ang PAL? Kuala Lumpur to Manila? Ayan, uh, Sandy, at this point in time, wala namang announcement na may cancellation. However, ang suggestion ko sa iyo, punta ka dun sa PAL, tapos uh, hanapin mo yung tab na merong nakalagay flight status para at least accurate, sure, uh, accurate and sure ka every day if you need to do that just do that lalo na kung malapit na ang flight mo so that you'll have an idea kung sakasakaling may big announcement ang PAL I will let all of you know 
For Mary Grace, Escalante, sabi niya, Hello, madam. Tanong ko lang po, wala kasi akong middle name. Anong pwedeng ilagay sa pag-fill up, fill up? Error kasi. Salamat. Mary Grace, when you say you don't really have a middle name, does it mean, uh, is it because sa country where you are right now na hindi sila naglalagay ng middle name? Kasi meron din akong viewer na ganyan din. Wala talagang middle name doon sa kanilang country. So, maaari talaga kung wala at magkakaroon ng discussion discrepancy sa iyong pasaporte, then lagay mo na lang N and, uh, slash A or not applicable. And then when you are asked, then you can just simply uh, let them know about the reason why. Mula kay Leia Octavio. Hi, Ma'am Jamie. Good morning. Need ko po uh, ang help. Alam mo po ba yun, uh, download ng One Health Pass, bakit hindi ko makita sa Play Store ng phone ko? Salamat. Okay, Alea, ganito. Ang One Health Pass ay hindi application, so you cannot download it sa Play Store. Type mo lang siya sa any internet search engine. It could be Google Chrome or it could be Safari. And then, lalabas na siya. And then, you can actually complete the form from there. Mula naman kay Rio, Ray Narvasa. Hi po ma'am, tanong ko lang po, ano ang requirement sa Cebu Pacific, Riyadh to Manila? Okay, so again, if you're flying from Riyadh to Manila, Rio, so uh, Rio Ray, so ang kailangan mo i-take into consideration at i-prepare, number one, the negative RT-PCR test taken within 72 hours before your flight, one half pass, at sabi mo ikaw ay, ayan, hindi mo nabanggit kung ikaw ay OFW. Kung ikaw ay OFW, yun lang yung kailangan mong i-prepare. Mga dokumento mo, please make sure na may hard copy ka uh, ng vaccination certificate at negative RT-PCR test, screenshot ng QR code ng one half pass at trace din po pala. Kailangan, although hindi siya talaga laging chine-check, lalo na sa Manila, bihira ako makausap natin at uh, chine-check and trace, but it's part of the mandatory requirement upon going home. So you can just prepare it too. And then after that, you also have to, uh, kung ikaw naman ay nan OFW, a pre-booking of the hotel corresponding sa na, uh, vaccination status mo. At mula naman po, ayaan, kay Supang123 Alejandro. Hi, Miss Jamie. Kapag may connecting flight going sa probinsya, may fill upan po ba or may ibang requirements po? Sana masagot ninyo ang tanong ko. Now, good question, Supang. So, ganito, kung ikaw ay uuwi sa probinsya, of course, sa hanapan ka nila ng negative RT-PCR test or kaya kung ano yung inisyo sa'yo ng BOQ. Uh, kasi assuming na pagkatapos ng hotel quarantine, mo, ikaw ay uuwi halimbawa doon sa probinsya. So, yun ang hahanapin nila sa'yo. And then, after that, kung sakasakali lang naman, meron bang ibang uh, you have to check with your LG or local government unit in case na meron silang additional requirements lalo na depende sa restrictions na meron tayo. Kasi at this point in time, uh, so far, naka-level 2 naman. So, wala naman restrictions unless may special requirement ang iyong LGU. So, coordinate with them and then you also have to know that. Now, you, if ikaw ay OFW, you can also avail of the OWA uwi uh, sa provin uh, hatid probinsya, we're in Libra ito. All you have to do is coordinate with your OFW or OWA. Uh, house period sa iyong hotel quarantine nang sa gayon mabigay sa iyo ang detalye kailan ka ba uh, ano ba yung mga schedule papunta at mauwi sa probinsya para at least alam mo at makasabay ka dito yan so libre naman yun walang bayad yun uh, from OWA God bless you too and Happy New Year, Supang. Mula naman kay Edison Sarasade. Sabi niya, tingin ko sumasablay ang testing eh. Dapat may second opinion. Kawawa yung biktima ng wrong testing tapos wala ng chance matest uli. Ayan, naku Edison, hoping nga sana na napaka-accurate naman ng uh, mga testing kasi nga, Kapag sumablay, I agree with you. Kawawa naman ang uh, mga natatest. So, looking forward na ang kunin nyo po. Uh, usually naman, reputable naman yung mga nagtetest or yung subtest provider na kinuha. Pero, syempre, ang uh, kailangan lang is assurance na 
correct yung resulta. So, again, everyone, uh, kapag naman kayo arriving traveler, so looking forward na yung swap test provider na one, either kakontrata po siya or kapartner ng airlines or kung hindi naman po kaya, yun yung partner ng government, lalo na sa pang OFW, uh, they, they are doing their best para at least ma-provide yung accurate na resulta. Yan. And then, God bless and Happy New Year, Edison. Mula kay Alan Barnido, puro Manila ang balita. Sabo naman, travel update. Uh, okay, Alan, intay natin. nag din tayo ng iba pang mga updates from Cebu. Kacheck ko lang kahapon at ngayon. So, uh, let's see if later meron silang balita and then I'll let you all know about that. Mula kay Corazon Askren. Nok, sabi niya, hello po, ask ko lang, hindi na po pa kailangan ng padlap kapag sa Manila tayo lalapag kasi marami ang nagsasabi, hindi na daw kailangan ng padlap sa Manila Airport. Uh, Corazon, ikaw pa ay OFW? Actually, depende sa airlines mo. Kung ikaw ay Philippine Airlines, ibig sabihin, uh, detoxicare ang partner swap test provider nila. So, hindi mo kailangan kompletuhin ang padlap. Pero kapag ikaw ay flying with other airlines, kapag kinompleto mo yung One Health Pass, pipili ka kasi doon eh. Uh, pili ka Padlab or Detoxicare, maaari mong piliin ang Padlab. Kasi at least uh, yun talaga, uh, kumbaga meron sila at every airport at kumbaga 2,500 yung sinisingil nila which is uh, lower na po compared the last few months. Yan. God bless you, Corazon, and Happy New Year! At uh, last but not the least po mula kay Chef Dane Journey. Sabi niya, good day, uh, good day ma'am. Uh, question po, flight ko January 7, kailan po ako pwede mag-register sa One Health Pass? Thanks and Happy New Year, Chef Ganito. So, uh, kung ikaw ay 7, so minus not, so 6, 5, 4. January 4, by tomorrow pwede ka na. Uh, teka, teka, uh, tanong pala muna. Kung ang January 7 ay arrival mo, then January uh, 4, pwede ka na mag-register. Kung January 7 din arrival kasi ang pin, ano dito, ang binibilang. Pero kung flight mo lang yan at arrival mo kinabukasan, which is 8, then the 5th ka. Pwede mag-register. Uh, so, you're welcome and God bless you too. So, uh, with that, everyone, I hope uh, again nakatulong po muli ang video ito sa inyo. So, uh, please click like and subscribe to my channel kung hindi pa po kayo nakakapag-subscribe. At again, looking forward, masagot pa po natin ang ibang katanungan ninyo sa next video po natin or sagutin ko po yan sa inyong comment box or watch my other video vlog din po. So, muli po mga kabayan at kaibigan, kung kayo pa uwi na, ingat po kayo sa inyong biyahe at thank you for watching my video and see you next episode. God bless you and stay safe everyone.